Anime, you done goofed. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com and today I'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 terrible adaptations of great manga. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the anime that majorly fumbled when adapting beloved manga series to the point of infamy. Prepare for some light spoilers and some major sourness down the line. Number 10, Zetman. Okay, so it may not be the most masterfully written piece floating around, but there was still a lot of joy to be found in seeing our titular Dark Vigilante go around beating the seven bells out of various monsters and evil corporations. It's a simple enough plot, and one that can easily be turned into a fun romp for fans to indulge in. Not in this case. The anime wasn't only pretty visually poor to behold, but the action felt weightless and had no bite to it. <laughs> Overall, the whole thing came across as a low budget attempt at a gritty superhero series. <laughs> Number 9, Black Clover. Yeah, the source material is basically an uber shonen that has every kind of trope imaginable, but that's exactly what makes this series such an enjoyable read. When we first heard that the show was animated by the shonen juggernaut that brought us the likes of Yu Yu Hakusho, Naruto, and Bleach, we were cautiously optimistic, and for the first couple of episodes, we were quite impressed. Magic is never giving up! <laughs> However, this was not to continue, as thanks to a very limited budget and severe pacing issues, the quality dipped drastically. Sorry, Asta, looks like Boruto stole Studio Perio's attention this time. You guys really don't pull your punches, huh? Oh well, nothing I'm not used to. Number 8 Boku Rano Giant robots, child fighters, and an endless cycle of death. How delightful. Oh, man, I are. As a group of school friends suddenly find themselves as unwilling pilots of the giant machine known as Zeth, it soon becomes clear that there's a little more to be afraid of than losing a fight against other mecha. Tension-filled and utterly depressing, it was a truly macabre experience any manga fan should read. Oh, you want to know about the anime version? Well, it turns out the director was a little too afraid about what would happen if the series followed the book's dark narrative, and as such cut a lot of the grimmer elements. Lame. Number 7, Rosario Vampire. Nothing beats a good old supernatural harem. You have your roster of busty gills, the wimpy main lead who still never gets any bedroom action, Along with the odd etchy filled action scene. Do you really think you have what it takes to be with me? You know your place! What else is there left to say? As it happens, turns out the manga has more shonen elements than the anime gave it credit for. Our boy Sukune was done a disservice, as his manga counterpart not only mans the hell up, but actually gets some. A main character who goes all the way with his love interest? What kind of parallel world is this? It was worth it. Huh? And I'd do it again if it meant that you came out of everything safe and sound. Number 6, Gantz. Aside from the fact that it decided to give us an original anime ending that was rather underwhelming, this adaptation still missed a few beats when it came to the characters. Yes, it managed to capture some of the gruesome content, but turns out that our perverted lead was a little more likable on the page. Characters are smarter, make wiser decisions, don't spend ages standing around debating whether or not to shoot an alien while everyone else is getting massacred. Why do you know so much? Exactly who in the hell are you? Moi? Well, I'm an alien. <sighs> You're full of it. If it stuck a little closer to Hiroya Oku's 
original works, then maybe K wouldn't have gone down as anime's thirstiest protagonist. At least my view of the world didn't come out of comic books and video games. You're living in a fantasy! Number 5. Dead Man Wonderland Remember the adrenaline rush of the opening scene? How it shocked us to no end? <laughs> Needless to say, it didn't last too long. The horror aspects were slowly replaced by generic action until it reached its anime original conclusion that unfortunately dragged the whole thing down into the realm of mediocrity. So sorry I dragged you down here with me. This has nothing to do with you! The manga itself may not have been a supernova of magnificence, but it certainly knew how to inject a fresh dose of genuine dread every now and then. I am weak. A stupid kid. A liability to everybody I like. Number 4. Haku Hoshin Engi aka How to Enrage Fans The Anime a beloved fantasy manga that ran its course in the late 90s, many were anticipating this second anime adaptation of Taikabo's Heavenly Adventures. <laughs> Turns out Japanese fans were so unhappy with the final product that a petition went out to remove it, one that's already on the cusp of receiving 1,500 signatures, and you don't see that very often in Japan. It's not hard to understand why they were upset. After all, even newcomers should be able to see that plot points are all over the place, characters are hardly developed, and the pacing is liable to give you whiplash. Number 3. The Flowers of Evil what have you done? You maniacs! What are we even looking at here? The answer to that would be a snippet of an excellent manga that explores the hellish years of adolescence, which then proceeds to devoid it of all its most unnerving moments, and then animated through the oh-so-distracting medium of rotoscoping. <laughs> Honestly, whatever potential this anime had to capture the source materials unadulterated primality was tossed aside when we got a look at the creepy character models. This anime is more like a failed experiment than a faithful adaptation. What's a shame. Number 2. Berserk We've talked to death about this particular continuation of the original 1997 anime, how it not only fails as a spiritual successor, but essentially spits in the face of arguably the greatest manga of all time. As such, here's a rapid fire summary. The 3D CGI looks terrible, never blending with the environment and constantly taking you out of the moment, failing to counterbalance what little genuinely good animation they had. The character models are stilted, corners are constantly cut, and on nearly every level this adaptation falls short. But hey, at least the music was good. Goto, nice work on this one. Hey, squirt, you got food and ale, don't ya? Number 1 Tokyo Ghoul Route A We won't pretend like the original Tokyo Ghoul anime was perfect, but it was a damn good first attempt that hit a lot of the right notes. Can't you see I'm trying to talk? Shut up and listen. Damn you! A successful sequel should have been a no-brainer. After all, the manga is well on its way to becoming a modern classic. However, what we ended up with was a series that decided to go off on the mother of all tangents and essentially undo everything epic and enthralling about its predecessor. I want answers and you're going to give them to me, got it? Why? Fans of the manga hated it, fans of the anime were disappointed, it pretty much was doomed to fail from the very first frame. And who in their right mind thought it would be a good idea to completely skip the final boss? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.